Welcome back, Theme Park Wizard. And just a couple of days ago, we had a Disneyland Resort construction update. And now we're here with a Hong Kong Disneyland Resort construction update, starting off with this beautiful castle. We have a lot. Oh, it's gonna be a kind of. A, it's gonna be a quick construction update. All these photos are thanks to Blog Mickey, and we're basically gonna talk about the castle and the. Um, Frozen and Fantasyland expansions, or kind of fancy Fantasyland expansions. They di they didn't go over this, or these aerial photos did not go over Tomorrowland or any of the Marvel projects, unfortunately. But um, we'll hopefully we'll get to those in a future update. But look at this beautiful castle. So the hub, you see, the top half of the hub is completely obviously walled off with these blue walls. Hong Kong Disneyland is now open, so there are that, that's why there are scattered people. This obviously doesn't seem too busy, but it is open. And they're doing a massive, massive refurbishment, adding some grand uh, walkways. It looks absolutely fantastic, in my opinion. And it's now instead of Hong Kong having a copycat castle of the Disneyland Resort, it'll have its own shining star for uni unique castle. I think it looks great. It's very tall. It has a whole bunch of different architectural styles to it, and I think it'll be a really a beautiful new icon and fantastic addition to. Hong Kong Disneyland really make it stand out, especially from Shanghai. Shanghai definitely kind of stole some of um, their attendance. Here's Fantasyland, and not much to see in Fantasyland, but there is that transition to the new Frozen Land, Arendelle, the world of Frozen, and you see there's a there's a underpass happening. There's the train tracks, and then they're building currently an underpass. As uh, the connection, the transition from Fantasy Land to the Frozen Land, which we'll see right here. And here's our first look at the Frozen Land. And to the right hand side, the the main ride you can see on the corner is that the sleigh, the, um, I forgot the name, but it's the, the basically the sleigh adventure, which will be something more akin to, let's say, Gadget's Co Coaster than Seven Dwarfs, D Seven Dwarfs, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, because it's a junior coaster for children. And you see a lot of track, all, basically all of the track is basically installed and covered up. It looks fantastic. And the main ride here will be Frozen Ever After. This is that e-ticket attraction that you can currently find at Epcot in the Norway Pavilion. That is this main show opening right over here. And it's just about done. They're just working on some the roof and then they'll start installing the HVAC and stuff like that. To the left will be um, the castle. You can see the kind of formations of the castle and will be a restaurant inside the castle starting to appear right now I cannot wait till that opens that should be super awesome to look at um, and hopefully offer some really cool thematic great treats last year in our very quick Hong Kong Disneyland update we have uh, just a very minor project back in Fantasyland it's a small world that has gotten some small uh, smaller <laughs> solar panels um, that look well, look absolutely great and definitely helps with Disney's green energy program and it just shows you look how close its small show building will be to the uh, the sleigh adventure or the yeah the sleigh adventure I completely forgot the name please someone comment the name below I know it has a name but I'm just gonna call it the sleigh adventure right now Olaf's sleigh adventure <laughs> um, and it's like basically neck and neck just separated by a backstage road that is it or actually potentially the train tracks? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I think that's just the backstage road that we separated by. But this actually leaves me wondering. Well, Disney, especially in the U.S. parks, do this to the uh, the Small World show buildings for the U.S. parks because they are very environmentally environmentally friendly as well as the uh, just like California Adventure, the Cars Land show building is decorated with a whole bunch of solar panels. So I hope. Uh, I anticipate Disney doing this to other show buildings in the future to be more more green. But what do you guys think of this very quick Hong Kong Disneyland update? Do you like the Hong Kong Disneyland updates? And should I do more international th theme park construction updates when uh, when they come about? Let me know what are you most looking forward to in Hong Kong Disneyland, the Frozen expansion, or the new castle, or the Marvel stuff. Let me uh, let me know your uh, thoughts in the comments below and as always subscribe for more theme park updates and have a 
fantastic day.